Right, as we got some petrol, we go somewhere different today. Have a look up town. So I'm struggling to start it. I know his face is local in that state, so don't need to give him a hand. He's only 20 yards from his garage. So when you come out of petrol station, youngsters, just bear in mind, all the diesel all over your tyres. Just come out very, very gently, just for the first mile. Uh, Surprised how many people forget that and make that mistake. Anyway, this is mould. There's a map, look, of where we are. If you look top left, Molden is where we are. St Lawrence and Bradwell are on the River Blackwater. There's that. Couldn't wish for better, could you? So we're going to go out to the mainland, maybe as far as Burn. Depends on how I feel, because it's not very warm. Now, in the petrol station, I forgot to press the pay at kiosk button. The pump didn't start, and I stood there staring at it. And it dawned on me, and I said to myself, ah, newfangled gadgets. Did somebody tell me about fangled? If you make a new fangled gadget, Oh, you're a fangler. Can you have old fangled? What is fangled? Well, there's no such word as fangled or old fangled, and you can't be a fangler. You can have new fangled. Love the English language. Bad bat, stay there. See you can. Take you down to the hive so you can have a look at the prairie boats. Bolton Key. Oh, look, he's got his sails up to dry. Old uh, Thames sailing barge for, the, for our foreign friends and cousins. Um, these barges, very flat bottom, very shallow, used to ply these muddy creeks and rivers and into London. They were regularly up and down London delivering straw, salt, mud, sand, bricks. And they're called Thames barges. Now these are for day trips, weddings, regattas. I was dressed all over for some reason. Oh, it was a birthday party, so he's dressed the boat for them. Dress means putting all your flags out. And Teal know that. It's a wonderful piece of our history. Beautiful sailing machines. And if you look across the bows of these boats, right in the distance, you can see some sails. Well, that is the black... Well, I don't know, you probably won't pick them up on this camera. But it's the Blackwater Basin. But these boats can be sailed by a man and his dog. Or a man and his boy. Um, the only time they had a, the only real reason they needed a boy was to do the hard labour. They used to, when they were stacked up with straw, they used to stack them up 12 bales high and set the sails a lot higher to take the straw into London because in those days London had millions of horses, horse carriages, etc. And oh, look at this dick. Bless.
and the boy used to be sent up on the stack of straw to keep a look at. You know, go left, go right, or port and starboard skipper. I used to say it a lot, so I've actually uh, bobbled off all sorts of places on yachts. Um, and they're bloody hard work. They used to go in somewhere at low tide and they'd hand load straw, bricks, sand, whatever it was that commerce demanded. And it was amazing. They, they were hard old boys. I know a relative of mine. My first wife's father's father used to walk to load these barges and he'd, he'd set out in the morning, he'd think nothing will walk in 20 miles, load a barge, if there was another one to be loaded the next day he'd, he'd sleep in the hedgerow or wherever under a bit of canvas and he'd walk back and we're talking here sometimes 20 miles he'd walk for work. We don't know we're born, do we? I know that phrase is a bit well worn, but we don't. A bit windy. I'm not sure if my mic will be picking up the wind noise, and I'm sorry if it is. It's a vicious wind, it's bitter cold. Uh, and I'm bitter cold, but I'm enjoying it. Ooh, blue lights! And a breakdown truck, so this is a accident up here somewhere. Some, some cager had a nervous breakdown. Interesting. Ah, bless. Car rammed Mr. Posty, Postman Pat, right up the shaft. Shot him off the road. Ah, so that's it, your mail's late today, chaps. Hazardous awareness. Has hazard awareness. Oh look, there's postman. I wonder if he's got any mail crunch. Oh, target fixation. I wonder if we get any parcels today. Oh, crunch. <laughs> yes, I made mention of fatigue syndrome. It's it goes along the same lines as target fixation. It's where you can be going into a series of bends and your adrenaline is rising and your stress rises without you knowing. You, know, you can be a good riser, you don't have to notice it. And there's a point at which panic, though you don't know it, you don't feel it, you don't recognise it, panic sets in and you react in a way that you wouldn't normally. Although you know you can go around the bend, you'll smack the brake on, you have no idea why, you just do it. And it's that moment of subconscious panic. And it works with target fixation. And it's a very real, it's a very real problem. But it hasn't been, it's been looked at by a few of the organisations, police, uh, paramedics. But it hasn't been fully researched yet. So it'd be interesting to see the outcome of that one. Oh, better not. Local scrap man. He sells the bloody stuff dearer than you can buy it brand new, bless him. 
wonder is, is this little old yard is always full. No, oh, please don't drop, please don't. There you go. Stone it in my visor. Nice. This road to Burnham has some fantastic bends on it. In the summer, it's popular with all the pocket rocket twats. Um, I don't mean the racing bike riders. I mean the ones who give us all a bad name. And then come down this road at terrific speeds. Quite a few have died on this road. They'll overtake dangerously. And the problem is, when they get into the villages, they don't slow down. So, they're a set of bike riders I call the pocket rocket twats. And it's not generic, it's not all of them. Any more than there are, you know, other types of idiotic riders. But this road, obviously, gathers the twats. 8% come down this road, there's diesel on that corner. 80% come down this road to enjoy it and it's great it's, it's a lovely flowing road there are a lovely flowing series of bends when they're not wet it's not almost freezing and it's great fun camaraderie but no matter how well or how fast you're going on whatever type of bike cruiser sports bike Tora, you will get buzzed by a little group, usually two or three, and they go at ludicrous speeds. They will cut you up. Anything to be the fastest down this bit of road. And they get into Burnham, they go down the high street, and they're still doing about 50 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour. Third gear, full revs, making a fool of themselves. I had a high booster, Mrs. B. I've seen you ride very sensibly and I'm sure you enjoy a bit of speed like I do. And I'm sure you've been carved up by the PR twats. It's a shame because what they're going to do is eventually enough people will be killed on this bit of road. Or the locals will get, oh nice place to put a load of horse dung. Or enough people will get hurt for them to put a ridiculously low speed limit on it. So, if you're one of the pocket rocket twats, be warned. Don't be surprised if you don't lose this road. Ooh, let me get down grips a bit too hot. Turn them down. We turn them down a bit. Somebody once, or well, recently, not on here, but somebody said, so you've been a policeman. Yeah, don't hold it against me. I'm still a normal person. Are you honest? Oh, good grief, mister. 
Are you honest? Um, I'm as honest as the next person. Yeah, look at that idea. You're doing 50, 60 if you're doing a day. On wet slick roads with junctions, I mean there's a junction every few yards, that's the problem, it's inappropriate. Um, I go above the speed limit, it's a case of is it appropriate? I've said that in one of my other videos. Anyway, back to honesty. I'm as honest as the next man. I don't think being a policeman or any other sort of worker involved with people, I don't think it's about honesty. Yes, honesty plays. But you've got to be led by a very strong moral compass. Morals. Very important. Ooh, can't see a bloody thing lifting the visor. I have very strong morals. You know, like, never hit a woman, never hit a child, um, never abuse anybody, never abuse an animal, blah, 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 blah. Morals. You need a good set of morals. Oh, green a half a mile. I've never actually been down this road proper, so we'll go down and see where this marina is. Yacht Harbour. This is Burnham on Crouch, chaps. Welcome. So yeah, we all bend the rules, don't we? I mean, even the most honest religious policeman bends the rules. As far as driving's going, I used to do, as I said, I used to do Doha, Middle East and all sorts, and drive Arctics and drive coaches, I used to do ski runs and Eurolines down to Spain. I valued my license. Valuing your license gives you a different perspective. I rode a bike drunk once. Yeah. Very many, 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 many years ago. And it was a few days later it really dawned on me. But in general, I don't drink and drive. Um, riding the bike was a, one of those spur of the moment occasions where alcohol takes over. And yeah, I, I do regret it. Only have all the ones, but I really regret it. Um, if you want your license, you're going to ride a bit more sensibly. Um, never ever had points or endorsements. Three points, endorsements. Don't really want any, but I'm sure I'm not immune to them because we all ride into villages or towns and we haven't seen the 30 limit and there's a camera van. We all do it. And I can tell when somebody does it. When I used to be on the radar, inside the road, I could tell that they didn't realise they broke the speed limit. And if it wasn't by much, I'd give them a long lecture. It's a long lecture. It's far more conducive to somebody never doing something again. A ticket, because most people who get a ticket, pay 30 quid, <laughs> who cares? or 60 quid, or whatever it was at the time. Not a care in the world. But to have to sit and listen to me lecture them for 10 minutes... Ah, oh, it's quite a different kettle of fish. That lovely car park, isn't it? Dot to dot. Wouldn't come down here if it wasn't for you chaps in America and Australia wanting to see it. <laughs> Actually quite enjoying this. When I had my 1150 um, GS I used to go off road on it. I quite miss that. This old girl really is not built for off roading. She really do not like it. That's it, that's Burnham. Or oh. 
the marina side, not the town side.